This is part two of a three-part series, and in this video, we're gonna be going over the Superbase instance for the rest of this project. If you haven't already, it's completely free. Go ahead and sign up for a Superbase account. You can attach an email, a GitHub account, Google account, whatever you want, and we're gonna create it a project here. I've simply named mine Stripe. Clearly I've already done that. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go over to the table editor and you'll see that I have three tables and they're exactly what we wrote over from Airbyte in part one of this three part series. If you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend and you probably should go back to part one and finish that off before coming here. But if you've already done that, you'll see that we have the three tables like I mentioned. So if I go ahead and click this and look at the schema and all the data, we have a couple different columns here. The big one to note is this embeddings column, which we'll be using for the AI agent. You'll see that the metadata and the document content, they look identical. One is the actual JSON and then the document content is the text format of this JSON. So if I go ahead and click this to kind of expand it, you can see that it is really just the JSON for this specific customer in this table. It has all the different properties. If I click the document content, it's the exact same thing, just in string format. This will be the same for the invoices as well as the products. Now there's not a lot of data here, but this is still crucial to know that like the embeddings are here for all of this information. And this gives us the ability to run these searches with our AI agent on top of this data to be able to answer questions based off of whatever our users are asking or whatever you're asking. We can find the similar kind of keywords and whatever we're looking for through the embeddings that we create in our question, run them against the embeddings that we have in our database. And from there, we have a full fledged working chatbot on top of our Superbase data. Key thing to know with Superbase, especially when interacting and creating an AI agent with this data, we do need to create some Postgres functions that are specified specifically within like the Python library that Superbase has. And that's what we'll be using in the next part of this series. If I head over to the database section and go into functions, this is where we can create database functions for Postgres. The couple that I have created is going to be, this one was a test one, but we have find related customer, find related invoices, and find related products. All of these are pretty much identical with small changes specifically with the table that we're interacting with. If I go ahead and click one and see edit function, you'll see it is very simple. We're just selecting all from the customers table, ordering them by the embedding and then the question vector. The question vector is going to be an argument that we pass in on the actual code side of things. And that question vector is going to be the embeddings that we create when we pass in our user's question. And we'll be using the open AI API to create those embeddings. Same thing that we did on the Airbyte side when we were writing data into Superbase. And you'll notice it's the same for the invoices function. It's pretty much the same thing as well as the products function. Same thing. One key thing to know before you start writing data from Airbyte is if you go to this extension side, you wanna make sure that you have the vector extension enabled in Superbase. If not, you're not gonna be able to support any vector data types, which is what the embeddings are going to come in as from the Airbyte side and realistically from anywhere. So make sure that the vector extension is enabled. And then if you were curious and had a hard time finding it, cause I did it first, if you go down to the product bottom left on the project settings, you'll see in in the database side, this is where you can find your URI connection string, as well as pretty much every connection parameter you need in order to connect to Airbyte. We will also need on the API side, these two keys. We need the project URL as well as the API key when we are creating our AI agent. So keep these in mind and post them somewhere where you're not gonna forget, or you can just simply leave them here and copy and paste them when needed. But that's everything on the Superbase side. In part three, we're gonna create our AI agent. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step exactly what that looks like, how easy it is to hook up Superbase to our AI agent. And from there, we'll have a fully fledged e-commerce data pipeline that has AI powering on top of it. So stay tuned for part three and we'll see you in the next one.